Let me show you how to graph the initial period of your tangent function fast. Two things you need to know. One are these four points that lie on the inner circle, and two is going to be our definition of tangent for an angle in regard to with points on the inner circle, which is going to be a relationship of y over x. So when we're actually graphing the initial period of the tangent function, we're actually going to use some positive angles as well as some negative angles. But let's start with the easiest angle, which is going to be at zero. So again, we're looking for the relationship of the y over the x coordinate. So zero over one is going to give us a zero. Now, let's go and work to pi halves, which would be my next positive angle. At pi halves, I have one over zero as my y over x. Well, you can't divide by zero. That's gonna be undefined value, which will represent as an asymptote. Now, let's just go ahead and stop there, and let's actually work backwards. What about if I go in the negative direction? So I go negative pi halves. Then, again, I'll have a negative one over zero, which is gonna give me a line like this. Now we need to understand, well, what exactly is the shape of this graph gonna look like? I'm bounded between two asymptotes. So the important thing to recognize here is in the first quadrant, we have two positive coordinates, positive x, positive y. So no matter what I do with y over x, it's always gonna give me a positive value. So let's just kind of do a half angle here and recognize that that point's gonna be somewhere there, it's always gonna be positive. On the contrary, if I'm looking at a negative angle, over here we're gonna be dealing with a positive x, but a negative y. So anytime I'm finding the relationship of y over x, that value is always going to be negative, right? The output value, the y coordinate, the output of that is always gonna be negative. So therefore now, if we can draw a graph that's gonna go through these three points, but also approach the asymptotes, it's gonna look like this. 